I wish I could say to you that it were, but it isn't. Uh, it's a symbol that the pyramid is used occasionally in Freemasonry as the all-seeing eye. But the committees, there were three committees that designed the dollar bill and, and the great seal, which is, is what we're really talking about here. Only one of them, Benjamin Franklin, was a Freemason and he was on the first committee and they didn't design the great seal. So that you've got a, a symbol of strength and stability in the pyramid and the all-seeing eye, which is the protective eye of God watching us as a nation. The, the uh, symbol itself has nothing to do with Freemasonry. No, there are no hidden symbols. There may be symbols that aren't recognized by the general public, Every Masonic building has a square and compass on it, which is the best known symbol of Freemasonry in the world. If you don't know what it is, then you, you wouldn't recognize it as such. But no, there are no hidden signs or symbols. It's a myth that there is something in the rituals of Freemasonry that, that is threatening. All it is the, the ritual are stories, morality plays, if you will, that use, in many cases, the Bible as a background to teach things like ethics and morality and truth. And as you go through the degrees, you absorb what is being said to you and what is being taught to you. And then you begin to think about it, and then you begin to realize that what you just went through was a really transforming experience. If you do the things that have been told to you and taught to you, you will be a better person. I believe the book, The Lost Symbol by Dan Brown, has done an enormous amount of good for Freemasonry because he truly caught the essence of the fraternity. I don't know how he did it. I don't know how a non-Mason could write the book he wrote and, and come so close to catching the spirit and the essence of what our fraternity is about. He did a remarkable job that way.